Hey everybody, it's Eric with the Fahrenheit channel. Today we're going to get back on the 5.3 Fairmont build. And we're going to talk about these. We're going to do a CHE LS trunnion kit on our 5.3. Hey, first I'm going to tell you some of the things I like about the CHE kit and why I think it's a little better kit than some of the stuff you can buy a little cheaper. Now, we're gonna unbox this trunnion kit and I'll show you some of the features, or the main feature that I like, that you're not gonna see in a lot of kits that you can get for about half this price. Now this kit costs about 200 bucks, but you will notice that the trunnions themselves have a helical cut oil groove all the way around the bearing surface along with the bushing. So the bushing has a helical, I don't know if you can see on the inside of the, should be able to see on the inside of the bushing there, that there's a oil groove there as well. To me that makes a huge difference. That means all areas of this trunnion and bushing are going to get oil, should get oil, at all times. Nothing's going to be oil starved. That is the biggest difference I see between this kit and the kits that you can get for about half the price. This kit's harder to find, uh, especially during the COVID situation the kit's harder to find but i think it's worth a few extra bucks on a part that is known to fail the the stock gm trunnions with the needle bearings are prone to failure on high rpm high mile motors um, so it's definitely in my opinion it's worth the investment in a trunnion kit that's going to cost you about a hundred bucks, any trunnion kit. But I went ahead for peace of mind and put a, about another hundred dollars into it to get a better kit. Our first operation is going to be to knock the old trunnions out of our stock GM rocker arms. And to do that, we'll use an ar a small arbor press and a socket. Now, when we press these trunnions out, you'll see one side of this trunnion, one side of this rocker arm, has more flat on it than the other. So we'll put that down in the arbor press. And I'm actually just using a 9 socket. Make sure you use a socket that passes through, that will pass through the rocker arm. Here's one I've already done. You want to make sure you get one that'll pass through the rocker arm and not get bound up on the rocker arm itself when you're trying to press the trunnion out. There you go. Flat side down again. And it pushes the trunnion itself out along with one side bearing and then the second bearing generally falls out of the inside. Do one more. Flat down just to give us a little more 
surface to press against. And it's that easy. Here I'll give you a look at some of the needle bearings, which is the fault with the stock GM Trunnion. When they fail, these needle bearings can find their way through your motor, which would not be good. So by going to the CHE kit with bronze bushings, we don't have to worry about a needle bearing failure. Now I've gone and cleaned up one of my rocker arms just so we can go over the reassembly. And for reassembly, you're going to need a set of snap ring pliers with small tips on them for these small snap rings. And some assembly lube or motor oil. What we'll use, we'll use this assembly lube. And these bushings, the new CHE bushings, are not an interference fit with this rocker arm or the trunnion. So, what we'll do is put some assembly lube on the inside and the outside of one of the bushings. And we're going to run it around our trunnion. Make sure everything's lubed. So we don't have any issues at startup. Now we're also going to lube the other end because it's going to be impossible to do once it's in the rocker. So our flat there on the trunnion here is for our rocker bolt. That'll go up. Although this thing swivels freely around, it won't be an issue. I'll place it in there with it up. We got grease on the outside of this as well. More is not going to hurt anything. Okay. Put that there. And we'll grease up our second bushing. Inside and outside. Place it on. Make sure everybody's got grease. Knock, knock a little bit of excess off so you can see what we got here. And we'll go ahead with our first snap ring on this side. You wanna, when I'm messing with a snap ring, I always wanna make sure it's seated by turning it. Make sure it's turning in that groove. Having a snap ring failure would be as bad as not doing the trunnions at all and having a needle bearing run through the motor. This snap ring will run through the motor as well. So that's our first snap ring. Flip it over.
same procedure. We'll turn it and make sure that snap ring is fully seated. I know you can't see that, but you can use the tip of the plier. Make sure that snap ring turns in that groove <clears throat> so you know you're in the groove all the way around. Wipe this excess grease off so you can take a look. And that's it. We do that 16 times and we're done. CHE brand trunnion kit. Cost you about $200. This one actually came from Brian Tooley Racing. Not affiliated with him at all. But I think it's a good product. We're checking out. Thank you. See you next time.